A developing story on an issue that we've been following from the start, the future of Portage Manor, something county and city leaders and concerned citizens are meeting about even on a Sunday. Matt Gotch has a story. To me, it says so much about our wonderful community. More than 20 people met at the Portage Township Trustee's Office on Sunday afternoon to explore alternatives to the closure of Portage Manor and the relocation of its 101 residents. They're a very special population of people. They are the most vulnerable people in our community, and they certainly deserve our attention to try and keep providing services to them in some form or fashion. Who knows when it's said and done what this will look like, um, but that's why we brought these, what we feel to be the movers and shakers of our community um, together to try and formulate a plan in short fashion. Last month, the St. Joseph County Commissioners voted two to one to close the facility, but just last week, the county council unanimously voted to postpone the vote on closing Portage Manor for 60 days. The goal coming out of today's meeting is in the next three or four weeks to have a proposal in hand to be able to present to the public for public discourse, for public comment, for hopefully the council leaders to accept or the county leaders to accept. At Sunday's meeting, various subcommittees were created to consider numerous issues related to continued operations. There's operational aspects, there's legal aspects, there's building aspects, there's, uh, you heard there's zoning aspects, there's finance uh, aspects. I mean, there's it's just a lot of different pieces that are going together. But Trustee Critchlow wanted to reiterate that concern for the residents of Portage Manor is at the front and center of this effort. I would say that's the number one thing that caused people to give up their NCAA Sunday, 2 p.m., to come out here to a government office uh, and sit here for a two-hour long meeting and then commit to meet all week and then commit to coming back again next Sunday and doing again as many times as it takes. Uh, I think it's the people at the center of that that is driving every single person that's been in this room today. St. Joseph County residents who are over 65, blind, or between the ages of 18 and 65 with mental or physical disabilities are eligible to live at Portage Manor.